What's up everybody, WandaVision episode 5. Now today's episode we learned some things, as I predicted last week I said maybe they'll do a 50-50 split between Wanda and Monica, and that's what they went for at least in today's episode. We go back to our fun little sitcom life, I guess this is the 70s now or something, and the kids are growing up real quick in this, they go from newborns to 5 to 10, they say kids grow fast but this is something else. And as we saw last week with Vision getting a little bit sus, he is extremely sus this entire episode. He's on Wanda's case a lot. He notices the neighbors making strange dialogue. He notices Wanda is acting strange. She's using her powers randomly in front of the neighbors and the kids like it's nothing. And Vision is starting to follow the breadcrumbs and see what's really going on. Now what we learn in this episode from Monica's side of the story is that Wanda is actually brainwashing all these people. It's like she's kidnapped them trapped him in her world and is brainwashing her. I was kind of under the impression that she had, they weren't actually real, like she just formed them from her imagination, but they are real. These people are in a constant spell of being brainwashed and Vision actually takes one out momentarily and he's like freaking out. He's like, what am I doing here? I need to get home. But Vision puts him back in his uh, Wanda state just so that everything's back to normal, at least momentarily. And we discover that Vision is actually being brought to life and brainwashed here because we find out that Wanda actually took Vision's body from the sword lab and in the show that was only nine days prior to this episode so things are progressing very fast now, of course it begs the question that the people on Monica's side ask which is well how is he alive without the the mind stone which is a big question how is he alive without the mind stone i mean it gives us hope in a sense that he can actually be alive again and used in future movies and stuff but i don't know i kind of like the aspect that he wasn't actually alive here i love his characters but it's kind of cool that someone who's supposed to be dead is appearing here but you know marvel have a knack for bringing dead characters back so i doubt it's quite the end for vision yet as things progress, Vision is getting more and more frustrated with Wanda. He is noticing all the strange things. And when he does eventually try to confront Wanda, there's a knock at the door. And I kind of had a feeling it would be. I thought, oh, I wonder if this is going to be Pietro, you know, her, her dead brother. We see the white hair at the door. And you think, okay, it's Pietro. But then they show who it is. And it's not him. It's not the same actor. So I was like, what? But it's not him. It's not the same actor. And that makes sense because obviously Wanda would need his body or she'd need him to be alive, of course, in order to bring him into the show. Like I said, she's not doing all this by pulling it out from her head, from her imagination. She's actually got physical people, physical bodies that she is animating to act a certain way in her world. And Darcy, on uh, Monica's side, who was not as irritating this episode, but still pretty irritating, she says, oh, she's recast Pietro, which she has. It makes sense. It's not like they were on a budget and they couldn't bring the guy back. I'm sure they could bring the the guy back but uh yeah he's been recast in the show and it just sort of ends there and vision vision was definitely not sufficed he was not happy with what wanda had been telling him he wasn't satisfied he knows something is incredibly wrong here this episode was good i i like the balance thing we've got going on now the 50 50 split i think that was the sacrifice last week's episode which i wasn't too sure about in terms of how it just fit in with the rest of the series but by having that one-off episode it means now that the rest of the series they can do this split half wanda half monica and i'm a fan it's very entertaining today no complaints from me and it's hard to tell where this is going to lead what's coming next but we'll find out in next week's episode thank you for watching